guys, but the game has begun. It's Secret versus Complexity. Game number two, Secrety leading the series one to nothing. This is a deviation though from game number one. Meanwhile, Courier coming in mid. That's gonna. That's a tough Courier kill. Looks 350 moves speed on that thing. though, he's got the staple gun. Actually, Oops. this is more of a mallet. He's gonna club it. Gets it Radiant once, gets it twice, gets the Courier kill. Wow, that was... Geminate attack, not so good for Scracking Shell. And turn on the very good impression of the tower when there is no one there or very few people there. And this should be a free tower kill for him. Pretty heavy on the agility. Envy will get the last hit. So secret, the first courier snipe, the first tower, the lead in, as far as CS for the carry. Oh, now looking for Swindles right too. They want the first blood to add to their repertoire, and they're likely to find it now. Over the top, the waveform combination. They score a kill. They even dropped the sentry to make sure that he was safe, but he, like, I... And they are going to make a move Swindles. here. They turn to find Swindles. They get the disruption off. The poison coming through. Soulcatcher is there. The waveform not timed right by Envy, though. Won't actually connect, but still, the damage is almost enough with the stomp. The poison stack's coming through, the spirit in pursuit. One more poison, oop, still running. And the long range wave for one more auto attack. Envy gets it done, but does he make it out is the question. Chessie on the chase, looking to get something back out of this. There are stick charges available. Envy isn't gonna bother using them, and Chessie strikes back. So in the end, turns out to be a rather beautiful bait by Swindles. Oh, hunting for Pylai die. This looks to be a second kill. Slowed down by Z-Freak, moving into position, but again, that Elder Titan spirit saving the day. Well, Huskar ramps up mid, Chessy still chasing, going for the neutral deny. Is he gonna get it? Yes, he is. So Secret oh, ends up costing them here as Limp moves in. They do have eyes on Arteezy, has the phase boots, though I don't know if they have the move speed or the vision to get that life break off. The Hawk is there, giving them a, a spot of vision in the neighborhood. They chase forward, looking for Arteezy, the courier. They have no way the to stop this and Arteezy. Moving fast, he doesn't have the mana just yet. Now he gets onto the courier, he goes for one auto attack. Then the dunk comes through, Arteezy will immolate. How do they get vision there? Uh, I think Hawk, I believe. Oh, first he has a Huff card too. Oh, Puppy's out a bit far. So the Elder Titan will get caught out. They commit the roar for the they immediately. They ping a follow up, dunk, and dead. Do you but see them? They, they, as soon as they saw Puppy out there, yeah. you can wait for him to get banner burned down. That's That's Here's Bulba, they grab it in a quick waveform. Their smoke too, I think. Their smoke is wave and they have to wait like another five seconds. And then Stomp will be up by the time it gets into T2 again. So that's just kind of very inefficient. Oh, uh, Envy's going in. Swindles, he's on, He's not done the math properly here. And Envy will punish him for it. What Morphling is getting further and further ahead of net worth. And it's not like it's going to change anytime soon. The more quick one, he can get harder to kill and have more kill potential of his own. If he messes up somehow, then yeah, but... And Arteezy will debut as Blink. Gets the bash, no self-grave available. Trying to tr jump him up top, it looks like. Will they be able to find him? And be on the run still. They relocated for this as well. They do have I think a dunk available. And they'll let it go. Envy gets brought down. One. Huskar's out, the rest of the team scrambling the retreat, already the Elder Titan, oh, it swindles down in the river on his, on his lonesome, and Secret will punish. So they force them back, they do not retreat carefully as the squad, and and trying to get the jump off here, he's going to see Roars, it's on to Puppy, he connects, but Bulba's there, in reserve, the disruption immediately comes out, good positioning for Pilot Eye. So Roar committed, nothing yet gained, complexity venture and deeper. Ursa blinking forward, somebody eats out that Shadow Demon, nobody's doing it, they'll lose him off the map, but Lift goes hard in the back lines, does manage to bring down the other Titan finally, and Chessie isolates Pilot Eye, lacking the disruption, just now cold down, but it's too late, complexity. Delete both supports, but while that's happening, Envy is in the base, just outmaneuvering them. The dunk is shrugged off, and Envy tries to man fight this Huskar. That ain't gonna happen. He'll have to back away. Very good to roast it, but M too much damage. Nice relocate coming up. That stop a bit too late. The blink in also late from Bulba. He may end up costing himself his life here. He's gone in too far. Lip is dunking after him. He's gonna lock him down, but Huskar getting controlled for now by the Earth, so the ultimate's gonna wear off though, and Lip hasn't died just yet. Envy is in the pit as well. He wants to fight. He wants to rumble a bit too. They can't bring down Hanskin. He survives the IO. Hanging on. Complexity by a thread. They stand, but Limp has an, a couple of other extra lives here to work with. Has picked up the Satanic. Also the Solar Crest now. No MKBs or uh, evasion piercing here as of yet, but they do find Swift. He'll get down on his own. He needs some help. The Ravage comes through. It's going to interrupt the dunk by Limp. Grave committed there. Let's keep Swindles in fighting shape for the time being. And the Huskar well, for the time 
moves forward onto our TZ, getting shut down as his ultimate ends. They will bring down the Ursa, has the playback ready. Nobody pushing right now for Team Secret. They've come home, hand skin almost dead. The stomp is gonna not even be required, just the spirit alone. Puppy will bring him down, uses the Ghost Scepter to try to get back towards safety. A volley of auto attacks there from the Weaver. Not enough to find the kill, so it ends up being two supports down. Huskar will live, but this is a carry that relies more than others on his supports in most cases. Grinny is going to be able to beat up this T3, and looks like Complexity are not interested in defending. Oh, they're heading for this one. Tier 3 going to drop. What do they go for after that? They've got the Dental on Chessy. The Glyph comes out, but it breaks the tower drops. Meanwhile, bottom lane, though, Secret finding the pickoff. Swindles down. Now working on the Rain Drax, Arteezy. He wants a piece of the melee complexity. Some heroes starting to come home, but Limp is being controlled for now. Chessy chipping away to mid rack, slowly dropping. Limp not dead just yet. Getting ready to jam, perhaps. He's got the dunk. He's not using it. He's focusing on structures, turning back. Oh, and he does go to the south side. But still, the rack's not dead, and... Anfi already, he's caved in the spot of lane quite a bit here. They are chasing forward, the Ravage comes through, up to Hanskin to turn this fight around. Tether comes out, has the relocate available, not opting to use it just yet. He's counting on Lift to build a man mode his way through this one. Finally will bring him back. And they'll have to reset here, but again, secret. They're taking buildings. Even if you get the kills, who really cares? And Hanskin now will return, except to me. It's the bash. They're looking for the hero grabs, and for some reason, it always seems to be Swindle's the one who gets spotted out first, but this time, he's able to flick away. Let's drop the Necrobolt there to Ravage, though. Ravage number one connects on three, Ravage number two, also on three, locking down the Hustler, but not finishing him off, and he's gonna look for the jump forward. No disruption prevents that on the backside. Partizi gets to work trying to bring down Swindles. Where's Envy? Oh, he's deep. He's on Z Freak. He brings it down. He focuses on the tower. It's all about the buildings here for Team Secret. Our tour with his dying breath. We'll get one last swipe of those paws off. They hold the line for now, Complexity, but they had to buy back on the Dazzle here. Secret of all the lanes pushing in their favor aside from that top lane. Just replicate out. But, yeah, I think this might be the all in play. But he has no BOTs now. Is he going to run home or is Envy? Going all in in his own right. Complexity says, screw the road can't wait. We're going for it. Diving deep onto Bulba. All of a sudden, there's no Ravages available. There's no Morphling at home. No Ursa. Does he come back? Envy, he is working on the Mega Creeps, but Limp's committing here to Tier 4 Tower. Secret somehow have found themselves in a very dangerous base race, but they are going to commit for it. Envy, just the melee racks on the drop, and then they'll have the BOTs ready in a couple of seconds. The Glyph has been committed on Limp. It's going for structures here. Does Envy come home? Is he coming back? Or is it all in? Bulba sticking around, but he's basically just a big creep at this point. Envy's going to, or Arteezy rather, is going to get junk focused down by Complexity. Creeps are starting to hit on the Tier 4 Towers. Bulba getting gunned down from this distance by Limp. He too will fall, and finally, Envy comes back, but he comes back lacking a couple of teammates. They will double buyback here on the Titan. Hunter on the Ursa, Lip standing his ground, but he gets stopped, controlled, he's dead, they need that Huskar, they're gonna have to relocate him back into the fight if possible to get back in this game. Chessy now, Lip just BOTing and charging forward, but while that's happening, they lose him as well. They've lost the Beastmaster, the bug gets squashed, Huskar has bought back, but he's lacking a team to assist, the rest of the team will soon join him, one Ravage, soon to be two. And, uh, and, they could have fight again. Yes. And they don't even have good wave player. But that was, that was a, a very admirable attempt at ending the game. That was... Well, they're gonna commit for this one. They're just diving forward. The dunk on the pilot guy in the mid lane. McCree's pushing top and bottom. And Secret eviscerate the opposition. The Ravages come flying out from Bulba. And Secret will take it 2-0. There's no buybacks left. Swindle's the last man standing. Limps away. But his true friend Limp is already dead. They march down mid. They'll end this game. Secret looking solid here. Very valiant number one. Nice. It just, they didn't get to fight the Huskar. They didn't have lockdown to prevent the Portman from split pushing. The yeah. supports felt very underwhelming as far as their, their net worth and playmaking potential. And it was just so hard for them to siege towers. Like, they could hit towers as a secret. And they, I think. Like, maybe they thought they could match the mobility a little bit with, like, the Wisp relocate, but they were lacking a lot of items. I think Beastmaster died a few too many times. If he had Roar, maybe they could have contested the Morphling a little bit more.